This protocol allows the fibroblasts build and organize their own environment under defined mechanical conditions. This results in anisotropic tissues with stiffnesses and matrix compositions comparable to the cell's natural environment. This method allows to compare up to 48 conditions in parallel. It is flexible with respect to the used cell type and culture conditions. By using only a few well-defined components, it is reproducible between laboratories. By applying profibrotic factors or antifibrotic drugs, this protocol can be used to study the underlying processes and therapies of fibrotic diseases of any kind. Demonstrating the procedure will be Alisa de Grave, a PhD student from our laboratory, and myself. To begin with, thaw the cryopreserved cardiac fibroblasts in a water bath at 37 degrees Celsius for approximately two minutes until the vial is left with only a small amount of ice. Next, transfer the cell suspension dropwise using a 2 milliliter serological pipette into an appropriate sterile centrifuge tube containing 10 milliliters of fibroblast growth medium. For optimal cell retrieval, rinse the cryovial with 1 milliliter of FGM and transfer it to the centrifuge tube. Gently resuspend the cells and transfer into a cell culture flask. Replenish FGM every other day for five days or until the cells have reached 80% confluency. After aspirating the medium from the cultured cells, wash cells with 6 milliliters of PBS and aspirate. Then, add 6 milliliters of the cell dissociation reagent to the cells and incubate until the cell detachment is visible. Neutralize enzymatic activity by